Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at the magic buttons which are displayed here. The CSTR, the WPT, the VORD, the NDP, and the ARPT. With those buttons, you can control this display. So if we look at the current view, right, we can see the uh, ranges, so five miles, uh, 7.5 miles, etc. right then. Using the button here, we can, I would say, increase the skill. And what you then see is that you're seeing the, let's say, the flight path, right? The flight plan, which has been configured by using the uh, built-in flight planner in this case. But where are these buttons used for? Well, the first one, the CSTR is the constraints. And the constraints are, I would say, really useful because what they will show you if there are, for example, constraints uh, for altitude, right? For example, you need to fly or you can't fly above a certain altitude or below a certain altitude. If that's the case, then you will can find it in the constraints uh, option. The constraints option is in most cases enabled both when I would say taking off an airport or when approaching an airport because then it's really interesting to know if there are some constraints which you need to be aware of. Then the next one, WPT, are the waypoints. And you can see that multiple waypoints are listed uh, on this map. And if I would show, open the, the VFR map, right, let me, let me do that. And you can also do that by pressing the V from Victor. Then you will also find those waypoints listed here. Pretty useful. Then we've got the VORD. The VORD, as the name already says, uh, shows the VOR beacons, like in this case RTM, which you can see here, is one of the VOR beacons, which is close to this location. And FRT, if we would zoom out a bit, we would probably also, also see it. <laughs> Depends, right, because the VFR map is not so, let's say, so detailed, and sometimes it takes some time before it shows it. Then the next one is NDB, and NDB uh, is the other beacon type which is used in, let's say, in the uh, airspace. In this case, RD181 is one of the NDB beacons, and then of course we've got ARPT, and that shows the airports which are close to us. So if we would zoom out a bit, then we show, uh, still see here e Echo Hotel of, uh, Victor Bravo. Uh, that's the other airport which is close to us. Uh, using this button, right, we can set the range, so you can even increase the range, so that we can see, for example, more airports, or more NDBs, more VORs, more waypoints, or more constraints. However, in most cases, the constraints one is only applicable pretty close to the airport, uh, as mentioned already, when taking off or when approaching an airport. So in this video, we looked shortly at the buttons on the top and on the top, I really mean on the top of the A32NX, uh, which adds a lot of functionality, which can be useful when approaching an airport, departing from an airport, but also to figure out, okay, hey, if I need to take a different route, how, how close am I to specific VORs or maybe how close am, am I to a specific airport? That's where you can use these buttons for. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.